okay, the crazies of Trump land have officially taken over the prison and they're not even in the prison yet. Representative Nancy Mace from South Carolina, you know, the gal doing the transgender ban all over the place at the Capitol, she may have just unseated Marjorie Taylor Greene as the person most going off the ledge. In this breaking story, we don't know who she's screaming at or who she's talking to, but let's just say she's having some fun with a bullhorn you have got to see. In the meantime, if you're not clear, uh, I'll show you the story in just a few seconds. If you're not clear on who Nancy Mace is, hmm, take a listen to this. touched my name on the wall, and I didn't think I'd be alive at 43, let alone a member of Congress. The first Republican Congresswoman from South Carolina, and before that I was the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina, and I did that in 1999. You know what's funny about that? The Citadel used to be an all-men's college, an all-men's military college, where Nancy Mace herself wouldn't have been allowed to be or go to the bathroom as a biological woman. Interesting, ironic, isn't it? It continues, take a listen. She's introducing a resolution to ban transgender women from using the women's restroom at the U.S. Capitol. Congresswoman Mace is pushing a block on transgender women using the women's restroom, she says, as part of the House Rules Package, and she's working to make the ban go beyond Capitol Hill. I wanna make sure that no men are in women's private spaces, and it's not gonna end here. Oh no. She's going to go far beyond the Capitol, but I wonder what she's going to do about Donald Trump's transgender pal, Sophia Hutchins, who was just dancing at Mar-a-Lago. Whoopsie poop. Well, America, I'm so happy to see that MAGA truly is the movement of unity. Maybe Trump will put Sophia in his White House cabinet like he did with Omarosa from The Apprentice. That would be fun for Nancy Mace, wouldn't it? And yet, it still goes on. Trump has shown time and time again he's willing to do whatever it takes to win, but more importantly, whatever it takes to unite our country. That's what MAGA is all about. Okay, you can't write the level of priceless this is. We're talking about a trans woman discussing how much of a uniter Donald Trump is while this breaking story is about Nancy Mace and how much of a divider screaming into the wind she is. It continues. Are you going after, you going after a marginalized person here? Sarah McBride doesn't get a say in this. This is a biological man trying to force himself into women's spaces and I'm not gonna tolerate it. I'm the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. If some guy in a skirt came by and said, no, that's my achievement, I'm gonna be there and standing in the way and saying, Hell no. And I'm going to be standing up here. I will file this again next congressional session. Sarah McBride doesn't get a say. This is about women. This is about girls. This is about our rights and being protected in our private spaces. I don't want to see a man in a women's restroom. That's not a thing. And it's not going to be a thing up here. It's not going to be a thing anywhere across the country either. So let's understand, this is going to be utter chaos once this administration takes over. And in this breaking story, Nancy Mace is just randomly standing out someplace in D.C., running her mouth in the wind, not joking. She's lost it, and she hasn't even gotten in a place to stand a chance to lose it. I thought she graduated from a military school. Take a listen. All right, so some tranny protesters showed up at the Capitol today to protest my bathroom bill, but they got arrested, poor things. So I have a message for the protesters who got arrested. You ready? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney present during any question. If you cannot afford an attorney, what is she talking? Who is she talking to? Is that the D.C. jail where the protesters? were sent after they were arrested and booked and somehow she thinks screaming in a windstorm when we can't even hear her that somehow they are going to be able to hear her. And what's funny about that is she's on police property and if she wasn't a representative member, she's screaming with a bullhorn in the parking lot. She could literally get arrested for disturbing the peace. But it gets better because I want you to hear the couple of things she actually says about being a woman that you just can't write 
this kind of humor. Here it is. You have the radical left that are trying to erase women and erase women's rights. I'm not going to allow men to erase women or women's rights. You're not going to have men erase women? You're going to stand up for women's rights? Girlfriend, have you not noticed you're part of the Republican Party? You are literally surrounded by men every day in those chambers, on that House floor, all over the Capitol grounds, who have taken away the rights of women by the second, and they're continuing to do it. What planet are you on, and are you paying attention remotely? This is your priority, that you want to bully a member of Congress, as opposed to welcoming her? I support a resolution that keeps all biological men out of women's uh, bathrooms, locker rooms, and private places. We all care about safety in the restroom, but Representative Mace's policy has nothing to do with safety. He has that restroom protection laws are already in place. In part, quote, he says, will there be gender inspectors at the door? Government simply has no place in our bathrooms. But the T in LGBTQ, as in transgender, has become the new cultural and political divide. As noted by the New York Times, the Trump campaign spent more than 37 million on television ads that invoke transgender issues, nearly 20% of its overall ad budget. Well, folks, like I continue to say, stay calm, keep talking, educate folks, listen, most of all, stay frosty.